What's happening guys? So Nate back here and in today's video I have an exciting topic because I'm gonna give you my thoughts, my feelings, and how I actually go out and choose different sayings for my print-on-demand items. One of the secret tactics that I use is to utilize sayings that are heartfelt messages. Someone asked me a little bit ago, he said, hey, how do you determine like what is you know, what is something that's worthwhile testing? Because one of the most important parts of this business is being very, very smart about your testing process. You wanna keep your win ratio as high as possible. And if you're like going out in there and testing all this crap, just because you are trying to follow the plan, but you're not taking the time to actually do good research and good design uh, or good slogans, right? If you're just testing anything that you see, of course your ratio is gonna suck and of course you're gonna get false positives. Because one of the things that happens is if you go find a design that was a winner for someone else in the past, let's say you use one of those spy tools and that spy tool shows that it made like, you know, a thousand sales or something two months ago. If you go test that on PPE, I promise you it's gonna look like a winner. It's gonna be really really good metrics but when you transition that to uh, WC stats or WC ads it's gonna fall short it's not gonna get any sales it's gonna be a dead silent cricket because the purchase pixel has already sold that design to, to someone else or you know the other people have already bought that design it's close. so it looks like great but the PPE you know the PPE numbers are is not optimized for purchases so uh, it's gonna make it look like it's a really good design. It's gonna have good numbers and whatever. So we wanna stay away from that kind of stuff. So what I have in this video, we're gonna hop on my computer here. I'm gonna walk you through some of my thought processes about choosing slogans, choosing designs, and we're gonna go back to that tool that I showed you the other day called Sorting Social. So let's get into it. Let's hop on my computer and I will see you there in a second. All right guys, so I'm on my computer and the first thing we see is I got sorting social up right here and I typed in uh, a slogan called uh, sewing quotes, okay? So sewing quote, little uh, caveat here. <laughs> sewing is one of the design, sewing, I think I told you in another video, I can't remember. I, I've been giving you so many secrets, I don't remember anymore. <laughs> sewing is a good niche. Sewing, crochet, knitting, all those are really good niches. Passionate women over the age of 45 that love to do this hobby. And uh, one of my past winners, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna give it away right here. So just, so just so you know, if you want to, you know, pay attention. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got sewing quotes in here as, a, as a, my search term, and I wanna find, um, and I wanna find different ideas that I can put on my print-on-demand products. And I have actually a few criteria that I have written down, and I'll pull that up in here in a second, but you can see here, um, this is something that'd be really good. You can't buy happiness, but you can buy fabric, and that's pretty much the same, that's pretty much, that's pretty close, right? Or, yeah, that, and that's pretty close. Um, that, that's pretty decent. And then down here, you say weekend forecast sewing with no chance of house cleaning and cooking. So that's pretty decent. Um, in a, in, I'm in therapy, and sewing is cheaper than a psychiatrist. That's you know, that's pretty good. Look at these 8,000, 8,000, 16,000, right? So you would instantly think, oh, this is a perfect design. You would instantly think this is a perfect design. This is a perfect design, right? Well, the problem is this right here, these three, these three for sure, <laughs> let's talk to the camera. These three right here are what I like to call uh, POD uh, slogans, which means they're heavily overdone already. This same slogan, weekend forecast, chant, sewing, you know, weekend forecast sewing with a chance of house cleaning, that, that same slogan has been overdone, 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 overdone in every other niche, right? They're, they're POD slogans. You want to avoid a POD slogan. And how do you recognize what a POD slogan is? It's just gonna take you time and you're gonna have to spend more time researching to understand what a slogan that has been overdone is. You do not want to choose those slogans. You're not going to get the results you want. They're going to be false positives, okay? For example, like those three, I'm in therapy, but sewing is cheaper. Like that's another, yeah, it's just, it's just not a good, it's just not a good, um, it's not a good slogan or a good saying. Yes, it was at one time, right? That's why it has 8,000 pins. And yeah, you can, if you have a really good design, it's a chance you could put this slogan up, you can make a couple sales. 
but it's not going to be one of those that's going to take off and, and give you two, three hundred sales a day from the one product, the one design. The, this is not going to be that type of design. I'm just going to be completely honest with you, completely open what you're looking for when you're going to be doing um, this type of work, right? You just got to put the hours in and understand the research process and understand what is a good slogan, what is something that's ever been done before, what's, what's been market saturated already. And these three, for example, are pretty much market sac saturated. That slogan's already done. People have read that slogan so many times already, you kind of want to avoid it. Let me show you a slogan that I found, right, uh, in the sewing niche, and then I put that on one of my products, the wallet case, obviously. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already, start selling the wallet case, link in the description, primo product, okay? I'm gonna show you right now the slogan I choose in the, sh the slogan I chose in this in the sewing niche and then I'm gonna show you why I chose that okay right here it's right here on the the next on the list it says sewing mends the soul okay so it has also has 8,000 which is not the same as um, well it's, it is the same as these two but less than this one right um, now this graphic I don't like this graphic but what I'm what I'm looking for is the slogan I can put whatever graphic I want there and then I can say okay this 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 slogan, I love this slogan, let's go have five designs made with that slogan and then that's your, your way you're gonna test, right? Then you figure out which design they like because we already know they like the slogan, right? And it's got 8,000 pins. Let me tell sewing men's and so why did I choose this? Okay, so what's up guys? So my audio ran out and I literally just talked for 20 minutes and there was no recording. I didn't have my backup recording from the computer. So, so frustrating, so frustrating. Now, let's see if I can remember what I told you because I told you some seriously good stuff. Let me pull up my uh, screen recording and we can start off where we left off. Let's get this going so that we have this. Okay, so now we're recording. So, I'm pretty sure we were just ended up right here. So, sewing mends the soul. Why did I choose sewing mends the soul? And the soul. Sewing mends the soul. If you remember my horse design, right? I, I did a reveal video on my most successful product, 500,000 sales, 17, 18,000 units. It was a horse design. It had a very, very similar style slogan. If you remember that, wild hearts can't be broken, sewing mends the soul, very, very similar style slogan. And that is what I'm trying to give you a little hint at is there's a style of slogan that actually is very, very powerful. And both of these that I'm revealing here, the, the horse one I did in the other video, and Sewing Men's The Soul, which is one that I sold a couple thousand units of already, has that same um, style. It's something that's very heartfelt, something that is that's related to a really passionate audience, a passionate niche. If you, if you remember that horse design, okay, so it says wild hearts can't be broken, right? Well, breaking in a horse is a type of training exercise you get so you can start riding the horse. Uh, here, sewing mends the soul. In, in the sewing niche, now I'm not an expert at sewing at all, but from my understanding, mends is a type in sewing technique or something that has to do with sewing. So you're mending two things together. So when it says mends, Sewing mends the soul. It means, it, 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 you know, it's it's making your your soul um, whole again. It's making your whole, your your soul whole. <laughs> but um, it's that heartfelt message, right? That type of language. It's really really passionate to the audience, and that's why they go crazy about it. Like this graphic here, sewing mends the soul. The graphic, it it doesn't matter. We can change it out. But the actual message, the slogan, is a killer, is an awesome slogan. Now, if you take this slogan and you go and put it up on, try to sell it again, I don't know if it's gonna work because I sold so many of these already. But, um, it, I mean, it's possible. You could go make a couple sales of that and it definitely can work. And maybe you could sell other products too, I don't know. But, like, this slogan is work. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull up my screen here. I wanna give you some pointers. I wanna give you some topics that, that you can use in order to find uh, slogans like this. What is the criteria for a slogan like this? So when you're browsing Pinterest, obviously that's where I go for most of my slogans. When you're browsing Pinterest, how do you go and find these? How do you identify a good slogan? How do you know that you know these other three that we just covered are not that good, right? So let me pull this up, and I wrote a couple notes down here for you. So these are my rules. They're not strict rules, but just some guidelines, I guess, for choosing slogans and sayings on your POD products, right? And so obviously, the first thing you want to do is not choose something that's commonly heard. If it's something they've heard before, you're going to have a less chance of it working. If it's used by print-on-demand people, if it's used 
in the past, obviously, it's just not gonna work because it's been sold to them already. They, they're tired of seeing it. They've seen it on a dozen products already. It's not, it's not giving that heartfelt punch like the first time they hear it. The first time they hear it, it has way more impact than the 20th time they hear it. The 20th time, they're desensitized to that message. They've already seen it. They don't have that wow factor anymore. And what you want is that wow factor. They, you, you need them to stop and be like, I need this, right? How do you do that? You do that with very powerful messages that they have not seen before. And that's how that you can you know, make them stop and say, I need this, I have to have this. Uh, obviously it's heartfelt, it, like that is my um, key phrase. I say it over and over, but it's so, it's, it re I really mean it. If you find something that's heartfelt and they can really, really passionate about, they're gonna love it. Like, while hearts can't be broken, sewing men's the soul. These are like deep into um, someone's, you know, passionate niche that they love those messages and that's what you wanna look for. Like, here's the fifth, number five, passionate audience. And something that you wouldn't think about is number six, which is, um, it's short, it's gotta be short. If you think about like Coca-Cola or McDonald's, um, McDonald's is like, I'm loving it, right? It's a very short message. That's what you want, you want those short messages. If, uh, if you go back here, you see these big, these bigger, longer messages, while, while we can forecast sewing without a chance of house cleaning and cooking, or up here, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy fabric, and that's pretty much the same thing, or pretty close, whatever. Um, they're too long, right? Those, the longer the message, the less heartfelt it is, okay? So the shorter the message, the more punch it has, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that very punchy slogan or topic that's really gonna be, you know, get someone to, you know, I love this message, it's very powerful. Shorter is, equals more power. Uh, memorable, obviously, like, and that goes ties in the short, how short it is. If they can remember it, that means that it's short, <laughs> normally. So short and memorable. And then my favorite, like, not really my favorite, but a throw on here is, are they willing to get the message tattooed? If they are willing to get that message tattooed on their body, that means it's a freaking good message, okay? So a lot of times I'll search, right? I'll search um, Pinterest. Well, now I got this tool. I'll search this, I was typing like sewing tattoos, right? I don't know what I'm gonna find because I never looked for this before, so this is the first time I'm searching, but here I've got 55, 85 results here. I'll just, uh, 115, I'll just stop it right here. We'll just let this load. I don't know what we're gonna see, but it's possible that in certain niches you can find really, really cool slogans and graphics and stuff that's related to that niche if you type in tattoos, right? So, um, for example, here, make, what is this, make and bake? <laughs> That's funny. Um, now funny, yeah, yeah, so about funny. Funny is never a bad thing, right? You, It can work, funny can definitely work, but passionate and, and heartfelt is a way better way to target and way better way to get the results you want. And so, um, Definitely look into that. I don't like these are all. I don't see any like any um, slogans that are like sewing, but I just see sewing machines create. Yeah, so these are all just you know they're okay. I don't see any slogan being tattooed, but um, sometimes you can get really really cool slogans because if they're willing to tattoo it on their body, they're will it's, it's gonna be a really, really good slogan. So guys, I'm gonna end this video because uh, I feel like I, I mean, I did make this video and then I, the audio wasn't recorded. And I think I covered most of the stuff that I said the first time. If I think of it, I'll do a follow-up video. But um, this is like some secret tactics, some in-depth, like behind the scenes, how I choose slogans. If you use this information, I can promise you, you're gonna have a higher chance of success. You're gonna have a way better win ratio and you're gonna start understanding why messages sell and not just being throwing up designs. Like you think a design's cool. You're not looking for a cool design. You're not looking for, like the design can be completely ugly. It's about the message. If you see my, the horse one again, it's, it's not a good design just mad, but the message is really good. The message is good. Now on the sewing one, I'll tell you what it looked like. I don't know if I can find it, but I'll tell you what it looked like. It was the message, sewing men's the soul with a sewing machine graphic in the middle. That was it. There was nothing else. There was no, there was nothing fancy. There was literally nothing fancy on the message. It was sewing men's the soul with a, with a sewing machine, an antique sewing machine in the middle. I, it was on a white case. It was on a plain white case. It was nothing that was uh, fancy or, or, or whatever. So people love messages and that is how I have 
gone and absolutely crushed it in print, print on demand because I understand that it's not about the design. So when people get caught up on these, that I need a good designer, I need a good graphic designer, you don't need a good graphic designer. You need to understand what people want and what they are willing to buy and how to really touch into an audience. And you do that through messages and, sh and slogans. And that's one of the key, key factors of how you're gonna find success is when you start getting through the noise of needing design and you start focusing on the, on the, the, the messages and the slogans that actually make an audience and a niche of an audience really, really, you know, raise their hand and say, I, I want to buy this. Um, guys, that's my, that's my spiel today. I really hope you enjoy it. If you want more videos about print on demand, if you want more videos about Facebook ads and selling custom products on Facebook, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, leave your comments below, and I'm gonna see you on the next video.